This is a short little video to show you the process that I used when I took an old Goodwill picture and picture frame and turned it into a beautiful piece of artwork. Oh, you can put it all on me and I'll do anything that you ask. I'll be your rock and roll Johnny if you be my June Carter guy. The first thing that I wanted to do was add some molds to this frame. It lacked a little bit of detail, so I wanted to add more to this piece. In order to get that extra detail that I wanted, I took my two molds from Iron Orchid Design. I also used the air dry clay. I took the clay and pressed it into the molds that I had chosen. I then released it and just used tacky glue. I spread that on the back with a paintbrush and then place the molds on the inner frame where I felt that I needed the detail. After the molds were dry, I then wanted to work on the glass. I wanted an aged mercury look, so I took 50% vinegar and 50% water and put it into a spray bottle. I randomly spritzed it over the back of the glass, creating small little bubbles where it landed. I then took a looking glass mirrored spray paint and sprayed over the back of the piece. I then took a paper towel and I gently blotted on the areas where the vinegar and water solution had bubbled. This left behind a semi-transparent look. After the looking glass paint had dried, I decided I wanted to add some subtle color to the back. I took two different colors to do so. After that was dry, I then flipped up the entire frame and I painted it with White Swan by DIY Paint. After everything was dry, I did decide that the white swan was too bright for this piece, so I decided to age it. The first step in aging was to take my clear wax and get it down in all the crevices and cracks of the detail. Now that the clear wax is down as a base, I'm going to use my dark and decrepit powder from DIY Paint. This is a powder that resembles dirt. It's actually kind of fun to use. I will put this over where I just put the clear wax. I'll take the paintbrush and I'll really get it down into that detail, just as I did with the wax. The wax was laid down first, so this way I can take the decrepit powder and I can wipe it back off the areas I do not want it, but allowing it to settle into all those little cracks and crevices, creating an aged look. After I was satisfied with the way that the glass and the frame looked, I then applied my transfer. I did order this black and clear piece. I did want to hand paint over it to make the piece look a little more unique.
The hand painting was definitely a process, but it was also very fun to do. It took me about four days to complete with all the leaves and all the petals, but eventually it was finished. I was very satisfied with how it turned out. I did seal it with big top sealant, let it dry, and then I was able to hang it. So here's my short tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it.